Hello, I am Dr. Santosh, Consultant Nephrologist and Transplant Physician at Care Hospitals. On the occasion of World Kidney Day, I want to wish you happy World Kidney Day. And today is my message about dialysis. So there are a lot of myths about dialysis and uh, not many people know about dialysis. Dialysis actually is a type of replacement therapy for kidney when our kidneys are not working. So when kidney is not working, kidney is a filter. We need to take a help of filter from outside the body and clear the blood of toxins. This process most of the time patient feel is very painful but uh, this process is not painful and let me tell you most of our patients on dialysis actually do their routine work. If they are software employee they open their laptop and do their work. If uh, they are bored off they sleep uh, during dialysis because it is painless. Some of them watch movies and other things on their uh, laptop or desktops. So uh, I just want to say that basically it's not pain, uh, painful procedure, it's more of a pain free procedure. The second thing what uh, people ask us about uh, whether we can get rid of this dialysis by doing something. So when kidneys are not functioning we have only two options, we have a transplant and dialysis. Now uh, we can't have uh, kidney available, live kidney or cadaver kidney available for everybody and there are some contraindications for surgery. These patients uh, need to continue dialysis lifelong. So when they continue dialysis lifelong, uh, we can't get rid of dialysis because this is actually a life-saving procedure. Our kidneys are working round the clock every second, every minute, every hour. We try to finish this dialysis work or kidney work in four hours and that two, three times in a week. If we cut down dialysis, these toxins will increase in the body and again can affect the body functions and we can get symptoms of kidney diseases. The next thing people usually ask is whether we can move freely when we are on dialysis. Yes, now there are many life, uh, many dialysis centers throughout the country. So we have to find out where they are available. We have to pre-plan our visits and accordingly we can do this. One more myth is uh, once dialysis is started, it's lifelong. So dialysis is started for two reasons. Either our kidneys are completely not working or they are temporarily shut down because of some reason. This second thing when they are temporarily shut down because of some reason is known as AKI. In this we need dialysis only for temporary period. So dialysis once started is lifelong is not true in all cases. In some cases kidneys do recover and patient come out of dialysis also. How to live with dialysis? So dialysis is not end of life which most of us think actually. If we properly follow uh, fluid restriction, salt restriction, do proper dialysis, have a good protein diet because lot of protein is lost in dialysis and because of kidney disease we don't eat good food. So it's not about the quantity of food, it's the quality of food which is more important. So we need to have good amount of protein in our diet. We have to take less water so that we can avoid breathlessness and fluid overload. We have to take less salt. So these are the few things with which we can live happily with dialysis and manage. Thank you.